Hello, my name is Jerry. I am currently a student in the English department of National Jinju University, and today I'm going to be telling you a story about how I ended up in NCCU. So when I was in 12th grade, I took this three-month course from a cram school to catch up on my studies because I was slacking off during 11th grade. Because I was taking care of this、uh, cooking club, and that's a story for another time. So what about this three-month course? Well, it's a combined course, which means it has all the subjects in it. So in a sense, it's kind of like a final sprint before the college entrance exam happens, and、uh, we have to finish all the、uh, subjects in three months. Merely three months. In order to do this, we have to go there every day for the first month and study there from 7 a.m. all the way to 9 p.m. And by then, we will just go home and sleep in and come back to school the next morning. Now you might be wondering, what do we do with the 14 hours we have in our hands? Well, first of all, we have lectures, in which. One or two people are going to fall asleep during lectures because of how worn out they are from all the studying every day. But anyway, we have them, and then we have these、uh, practice tests with the little booklets. When、well, they're not little, they're average size with an average of seven pages, full of questions, and we do two of them every day for different subjects. And this is disregarding the、uh, writing practice we have every day before the class is dismissed. Now combine the lectures with the writing practices, as well as the practice tests, the little booklets, and oh, there there are these little English quizzes we have while we are eating our lunch. Combine all of these, and what do you get? You get a whole 14 hours of torture session, which is for the greater good of our. Children's future. You know, now that I think about it, it's pretty amazing how we kept our sanity intact in spite of the、uh, crammed studying. Well, most of the time. And it's nothing. It's just, there's this one time where a girl in our class burst out crying during one of the、uh, practice tests with the booklets. I believe it was physics. She just broke down crying and just went. I can't do it. I can't keep up with it. It's 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 nothing. It's just a one-time thing. Oh, and there's this guy who sits next to me. Oh, this is called him George. George would whip out this rubber band he got from our lunchbox and would snap himself in his wrist to keep himself awake during lectures. It sounded too extreme for my taste back then, but. Like two weeks in, and I started snapping my arm with him. Enough about other people. Here's my story for a change. So this is what happened one day during lunch. I was eating my lunch. Well, I wasn't eating it. I was staring at it soullessly, and it felt like my consciousness faded away for a fraction of a second. And when I come back to my senses, George was waving his hand in front of me to make sure I wasn't gone for good. But here's the catch. This is this is what he told me, what I was doing. Apparently, I was talking to this chunk of chicken in my lunchbox. I was mumbling on about whether it hurts or not to have a chunk of your body removed and put into someone's lunch, and how does it feel to get to know that I was I'm eating part of his body. Basically, the conversation went like this.、Uh, does it? Hurt it, have your body ripped out, and then feel I'm I'm eating your <laughs> well. The cactus was the chicken, basically. If you didn't catch that, also apparently that is supposed to be a cactus. Anyway, I still made it out of the course with my sanity intact. I think my brain am thinking good with stuff, and better yet, I actually made it into National Jinju University. Hooray! And every now and then, when I'm doing like a school project or something like that, I will think back to those torturous days and give myself a pat on the back and be like, "Dude." You aren't working hard enough because you're not talking to your lunch yet. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed my story, 
and、uh, be sure to talk to your lunch after work. Peace.